Welcome back. That feels weird to say because I just wrapped up our last week's video, but we're continuing on with the next project. So we're starting out with a new video. <laughs> so the countdown is on to get at least one pen made up for Lily in case she goes into labor any day now. We are gonna be doing three pens in here because we're keeping the Billy Goat and we wanna have him separated from the girls. And at this point we wanna have him separated from the boys as well because they aren't really getting along very well when they're in a small space together. So we are gonna be trying some other stuff out to see if we can get them to get along better. But for now, we're just gonna be getting three pens made up so that they can have their own space. We'll have fencing or boards between enough that the goats can see each other. So if the billy goat is by himself, he's not gonna to feel too lonely. He'll still be able to see goats in the pen next to him even though it's gonna be the boys and they don't really like each other. So <laughs> that's what he's gonna be stuck with because he can't be next to the girls. Anyways, we're gonna be using some of our recycled fence posts from when we had that massive fence up between the two properties. So we'll be using that to build a post from right here. And then that's kind of gonna be the main sort of post that all of the goat pens is gonna come off of all three of them. Let's get to it. <laughs> Reset. Record. What? Oh. You messed up. You didn't do it good. Now we can go like this. That's what that's for. <laughs> Boonies, come here. <laughs> come here, sweet girl. Come here. Oh, this sucks being sore. Come here. Don't be hurt anymore. Okay. She's probably feeling left out because he's going. No, she's been playing with Aspen. Oh, really? Oh, she's just so sad because she's a blue healer and she's so emotional. Oh, I just have all the emotional feelings. I'm a little dog with big feelings, that's all. Oh, I'm not going to get home. <laughs> I hide this week. I'm going to just stay home. I'm going to see honey. Oh, <laughs> oh Jennifer. Dollar store chisel. <laughs> That's the job. I guess. Hardly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's the job though. You're right. I, I'm not feeling like this is going to be. Oh, look at me just talking smack at the Eola. That doesn't know. That's not my level at all. <laughs> <laughs> the hole is in the wrong spot. Big time. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Nail it. <laughs> not for the goats. Unless <laughs> you can just like, dig it out and it'll fall out of place. No, 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 no. Oh, Katie's going for a dig. Okay, well, you got to dig it all by yourself. No, no. No, no. Uh oh, there's something in there. I'm gonna go grab the, uh, the dasher.
We're starting to lose daylight in here. We're gonna have to get some lights installed very soon because it's a little bit dark. But we have a good idea of what the pens are gonna look like. We've got all the posts in. Well, for this wall here, so we'll have two pens and then the third one we'll get going tomorrow. But it's getting late. We're gonna call it a night. We'll pick it back up tomorrow. So this may seem like a tall pen, but I've seen these goats, especially when they are hormonal, especially our billy goat, I've seen that goat jump over stuff that you would never think that a little goat can jump over. So we're gonna go with about this height for our pens, just to keep that billy goat in basically. The females don't jump, but the billy goats do, or the billy goat does. So yeah, what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna set up the table saw and start ripping some boards. I've got a whole bunch of 12 inch boards that I actually need to rip down to four inches because I was gonna put three 12 inch boards but I'd rather do smaller boards so the goats can kind of see through to the other pen and, and uh, be able to spend closer time together even though they're separated. The robins have flown their nest. We actually have been having a lot of problems with Aspen at night barking, which is what she does, what her breed does. But because she's in the house, she still, because she's a puppy and she's actually in her heat right now, she gets all of the house dogs to start barking as well. And Hinto's deaf, so we can't even tell him to stop barking. He doesn't even know what he's barking at. Uh, but the other night they were barking, so we just let them out and Greg came out to find them a little while later because they were being very quiet and we couldn't see where they were and he found them in a circle around one of the little robin chicks that was sitting on the ground and he said it felt like they were having a seance around the bird <laughs> and it was really weird <laughs> middle of the night thoughts <laughs> um, but all of the robins are gone from the nest now we don't see them so they must be fine off living their life they've learned how to fly now no, that's good. That's fine. This is a little bit low. Bring it up. There you go. The bottom one goes a little higher.
Hey, stink butt. Hi, Lily! So we just did the math and realized that our goat is four days away from having kids, which is good because we're just about ready in the barn for her, but I'm going to make it so that I can actually get ready for her to have kids. Her udder is starting to fill, which means she's right, right away, right away going to be having kids. So I'm going to finish the pen and I think, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think I might spend a couple nights in here with Aspen because I want Aspen to be an outside dog now too. I want her to come in here and and be able to um, watch over the goats because we're gonna have the goats in the barn and we're gonna have the meat birds, which I mean, they're growing fast. We're gonna have the meat birds out here and I need my livestock guardian dog to do her job, which she loves doing but I need her to not want to be inside at night. So I might spend a couple nights out here, go camping in the barn and uh, yeah, and just be out here with her for a little bit. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to finish getting one, uh, one, both of these pens ready, really. It's not going to take long to do both of them at the same time. And might even be able to put the goats in here tonight. That's the goal. Let's go. <laughs> Is it gonna line up? Whoa, that's a little off. <laughs> that's okay. It's an optical illusion. <laughs> so we are gonna put some wood chips on the floor. Now that we've got the gate installed, that should be just a nice base. It'll keep the dirt down. And then we've got a fresh bale of hay that we can put down as well. So that's nice and cozy and soft, but we've got so many wood chips, we might as well use them up. They're really easy to clean out and they go well into the compost once they're used up. So we get to get that in there too.
we are getting very, very excited for our babies that will be coming here. Um, I'm getting a couple feeders built up, one right away, and then I'm just gonna get the pen ready for Lily, because she's the one who's about to have babies. Lucy, we believe, is pregnant as well. It was a little bit tricky with her because she went into heat again after she got pregnant, but which doesn't make sense, but apparently it can happen sometimes. So we're gonna have lots of babies this year. So I'm gonna focus right now making sure that Lily's got a comfortable place because she could be due any moment. She's due technically in three days, but she could be due any moment now. And uh, I wanna be ready for her. So we're gonna build a feeder for her. We're gonna get some straw in her pen. We will have her in the barn tonight. It's the right amount. It's the right size. Want this lined up? It's, um, yeah, I want this lined up on the back here. So what I'll do is I'll lift this and I'll lift mine. And I can push them down at least. And I have a the right spot. This lined up. Back. Um, that's huge. Mm -hmm. I should cut it down. The thing's so huge. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> didn't you measure it? Oh, I just figured. No. Oh. Can go over here. Can't. Then we'd have to come in to, to feed them. I guess we could put it up on this. That actually makes sense, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Thing. <laughs> What is it saying? What is it? Measure twice, cut once. <laughs> yeah. Or was this your plan all along to just no, build is... a two for one? No, uh, this, well, you know, I don't know. <laughs> so what do you, what's your plan? I'm gonna cut it right here in half. I'm gonna cut this in half. And then this will be one feeder and this will be another feeder because this thing's humongous and it's like probably 70 pounds. We don't need a 70 pound feeder. So, but I'm getting two out of one. So it's like a discount, Katie. Did you have that second coffee or not today? I did. You did, it's not working yet. What's that? It's not working yet. <laughs> <laughs> so the problem with that feeder is when it goes under the window, it goes to the ground and we actually want to build something underneath to catch all of the little bits that fall out because that is really the good stuff that the goats want to eat so it's crucial to have one of those bottoms catching all that and i'm not entirely sure that the bottom part is going to be able to hold very much food but greg thinks it will so oh yeah we'll see i just don't have to feed them twice a day i want to be able to just give them a bunch of food and they're good to go for a while, less work for us. So we'll see. Okay. Should have kept it a big feeder for fat boy. He's he too fat. He would have eaten that in a day. Should be all right, eh? Yeah, this is gonna hold a lot of food. You'd be surprised. Okay. Two okay. flakes. Two big flakes. Maybe a little higher. Like that. It's 
So Katie's going to grab some staples for this, but that's gonna work just fine right there. Can you use those one by ones for knee braces? That we just have extra off of this. Something is wrong. It's too long. What? Oh, you know what? That's why. It's all good. You see now? Here. What do you think of that? Mm. Kinda of just set this on the ground, eh? I'll get it straight with that line and that'll be good. <laughs> it's not perfect, but What do you think about the changes? <laughs> hey? So I got, I've got the goats, the two ladies in their pen. Lily should be due tomorrow. Um, I had to put this up because Lucy, the little black one immediately jumped up into the feeder and jumped over and went out in the field. So I'm gonna have to figure out something better than a pallet stood on end to fix that. We actually ended up putting some strips in between just because we thought the goats were maybe scooting out that way. I don't think they could, but we just put up strips, strips anyway. But she definitely was hopping up on the uh, feeder and trying to get out that way. So, I mean, the goats will tell ya how to build and I didn't build very well, obviously. So we're gonna keep on going on this project in here. This sweet girl is gonna have, I'm thinking two, two little babies with her tomorrow. And uh, I, we need to get this, we need to get this over with cause we got other stuff to do.
Oh yeah, the stumps. I don't know if I should dump it though. Ah, I It is warm today. That was hard, but one load with that quad trailer and the whole pan is done. Wide load. Gate. Gate. So we bought these little farm buckets well, quite a while ago, and I actually kind of forgot about them, and I thought they might be kind of flimsy, but now that I've pulled them out of storage again, they're actually really sturdy, and they're they're kind of like those 55-gallon drums that you can buy. So I, I got it on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description if anyone's looking for something really good for your livestock. These things seem to be the real deal, so... Unscrew. That doesn't look too bad. We're gonna keep going and get the third pen in. So this one's gonna be a little bit smaller and we're planning on putting the billy goat in there so that he, well, he doesn't really get along with the other boys. So we wanna have him separated. And we also don't want him with the girls all the time. We've just had them together because they've been pregnant, but once they aren't pregnant anymore, we don't want any more kids. So we're gonna have a smaller pen here for him. Maybe if we have a little boy from the litter of kids, then we can put, that, put him with Billy Goat, but we'll just have to see what happens with that.
All right, we've got three goat pens and we are expecting the babies anytime now. Her due date is tomorrow, so just waiting, watching for signs. I've got the goat cam set up there. So it's connected to my phone so we can keep an eye on her from the house as long as Starlink is working because it's been very bad lately. I don't know if it's just us or if anyone else on Starlink is having constant cutouts. It's really annoying, but they have been eaten away. And I think one of the signs is she won't be eating anymore. So not quite time yet.